In this example, I need to write the cosine of 4x in terms of only cosine x. Here are some useful identities that might help in this problem. And there are several different ways of completing the problem. The first method, I could write the cosine of 4x. I could break down the 4x as 2x plus 2x. So I then have the cosine of 2x plus 2x. I'd use the angle addition formula for the cosine function. And in this case, my a and b would both be 2x. And so I'd have the cosine of 2x and the sine of 2x in my answer. But remember, the double angle identity for the sine function involves both the sine and the cosine of that angle. And we're asked to write the cosine of 4x in terms of only cosine x. So let's try a different method to see if it might be a little easier. I'm going to take the cosine of 4x and 4x I'm going to write as 2 times 2x. And now I can use the double angle identity for the cosine function. It has three different options and one of them just contains the cosine of the angle. So that's what I want to use. But in this case, I have to be careful. I'm going to let a equal 2x. So I'll have 2 times a, which is 2 times 2x. So now, what is the cosine of 2 times 2x? Well, it's going to be 2 cosine squared instead of a. Remember, a is going to be 2x minus 1. And now for clarity's sake, I'm just going to rewrite the cosine squared of 2x as the cosine of 2x all squared, then don't forget the minus 1. And now what I want to do is I'm going to replace cosine 2x over here. So I'm going to let a equal x in this case. So I'm going to use this expression where a equals x. So I'm going to have 2 times the quantity. Instead of the cosine of 2x, I'm going to have 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And then I have to square it and subtract 1. So all I did was replace cosine 2x with 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Next, I need to square this binomial. I'm going to do it by the longer method of foiling it. So I'm going to have 2 cosine squared x minus 1 times 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And then don't forget the minus 1 on the end. So I'm going to have 2 times 2 cosine squared x times 2 cosine squared x is 4 cosine to the fourth x. 2 cosine squared x times negative 1 is negative 2 cosine squared x. Negative 1 times 2 cosine squared x is negative 2 cosine squared x. And last, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Close the parentheses and then don't forget the negative 1 on the end. Adding up like terms in my parentheses, I'm going to get 4 cosine to the fourth x Negative 2 added to negative 2 is negative 4 cosine squared x plus 1. And then don't forget the minus 1 on the end. Now if you remember the shortcut for squaring a binomial, you can go straight from this step to this step. So now distributing in the 2, 2 times 4 is 8 times cosine to the fourth x, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 cosine squared x, and 2 times 1 is plus 2, minus 1, 
The only thing I have to do is collect up like terms. So I'm going to get 8 times cosine to the 4th x minus 8 cosine squared x. These are unlike terms. But then I have 2 minus 1, which is plus 1. So this is the answer when I need to write the cosine of 4x in terms of just cosine x.